What is up guys? Today we are going to make this killer Ned shrimp thing. I don't know. It's trying to be a shrimp thing. I'm working on a Ned shrimp to throw in the marshes in Texas. And this is where I am currently in the process. But I want to share this technique in Fusion 360 that I used to design this because I think it's really cool and you'll have a lot of different uses for it on a lot of different baits. It's great to make baits like I've made right here or it's great when you need legs and kind of fins and arms and that kind of stuff. So let's jump into Fusion 360. All right guys, so what I love about this technique is it is really pretty simple. We're gonna use two commands. We're gonna do a sketch uh, with some lines and then we're gonna just sweep that along those lines. So it's super simple, super basic. Let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna start by working top down. I'm gonna create a sketch on this plane. Again, the plane doesn't really matter. You just kinda of wanna make sure that um, you can understand it. I'm gonna draw a line and I'm gonna make this a construction line and my voice is going to crack like a teenager. <laughs> I'm going to click in the middle here. I'm going to bring it up. And what I want to use this line for is to keep me honest about my overall length of my bait. So let's make this a, a small Ned, let's say. Let's make it a three inch. So I'm going to type in three I N. Now I usually work in millimeters because I'm 3D printing, but you can always type in uh, inches and it will convert to millimeters for you. Fusion smart that way. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is draw a fit point spline, turn off my construction line, start here in the middle. I'm going to come straight up to, I don't know, about there. Kind of fork off to about, if I mouse over the, my inline on my construction line here, pull over, you can see that blue line. And that's how I know it's uh, basically the three inch length. And that looks pretty good. Now, I don't want this bow in here. So what I do is I have the escape key. I come down to this bottom point here, grab one of these handles, and I want to make that straight. You can also click on it and do a horizontal vertical constraint. And it will make that straight. And I can do the same thing with that guy and that guy. So now both of these go straight up. There's still a little bit of a bend in there, but that's not going to do uh, any harm for us. And that's the basics there. So this is the path that my body is going to take. And this I will use, uh, again, to keep me honest on length and when we flip it over to make our other tail. So then what we want to do is we want to go to the front view and I'm going to draw my shape. And to do that, I'm going to start a sketch on the front plane. And you can do any shape you want. I find a polygon is um, a lot of fun, and I'll show you why. I'll just click here, bring it out, and we'll keep it at six sides. And one thing you want to know about this measurement here is it's the... Um, Oh gosh, the radius, right? So you're gonna double this to make your overall size of your lure. So we wanna keep this relatively small. Let's say we wanna make the overall thing uh, close to 10 millimeters. I'll do a 4.8 here. And now we have this polygon. And so I could have made that any number of sides I wanted to. We're just gonna keep it at six today. You can even do triangles at three if you want to. And let me just click finish sketch. And now here's where the magic happens. I'm going to go and create a sweep. And the sweep command is going to ask me for a profile and a path. So the profile is the front of the bait we have. The path is our curved line. And there we go. And now that, I mean, you could use that if you wanted to, but that's not terribly exciting. What you want to do is change the taper angle to a negative. And you just kind of want to kind of eyeball it. So we want to come in here and change the taper angle to a negative number. And this I usually just eyeball. Um, start small and then kind of go up. It, it, it changes pretty dramatically the higher you go up. Uh, that three looks good. 
And then we want to make, uh, you can keep it like this. This is a fine texture, but another interesting thing is this twist angle. So I can do 360 and it will do a full rotation all the way around. And that's how we get kind of these rib-like patterns on this bait. Click OK. And there we basically have one half of our bait. We'll go ahead and click this front face here and put our fillet on. I hit the F key, probably make it a one. That's probably good, just for fun. And now what I want to do is I'm going to mirror this across that other line. So I'm going to go up here, create a mirror. And we want to mirror bodies. We're going to select this body. And our mirror plane is going to be this middle plane here. Okay, and then we get a shape that looks kind of like this. So you get kind of a mixing of the uh, ribs here, which I think makes a cool design. And we want to click join and we click OK. It's going to take a while because it's kind of complex geometry, but you'll get this right here. And again, these little divots and things I think look pretty cool. And that's basically it. You can make your tails whatever you want. Uh, what I did for the one you saw is I added a sphere and I came in here, clicked on this plane, clicked on the middle of that, and just put a sphere on there. Three millimeters, you wanna make it uh, join. And it probably would be smart to do that before you uh, mirror it, because you can mirror it easier that way, but you can just create another one on the other side. Um, not a problem. There you go. That's all there is to it. Super simple. Now, I also use this when making other legs and appendages. So I want to show you that real quick. What we can do is, once we have this body in place, make another sketch. And the, tr the really kind of trick here is to get it fairly deep in the body. So I can come up here, click. I got a fit point spline here. Kind of come out. Let's just go with that. Okay, finish sketch. I'm going to create a new sketch on this side plane. And what you probably want to do right now is I'm going to come over here and turn off this body because it's in my way. Makes it difficult to see. Just cruise in here. So there's my line. And let's do an ellipse. I'll show you guys this. It's another technique I like to use for fins and legs and things come out, you know, whatever length you want. Two and come up. Probably want it for 3D printing, right? You kind of want it at least a millimeter, maybe a little more. And let's actually make this a little fatter there. All right, finish sketch. Let's turn back on our, let's leave our body off actually. All right, so we finished the sketch. Now we just come in here and do another sweep. And this one we will leave probably without twisting. Path is here, but I still probably want a little bit of a taper on there. So this one I just sweep and I'm going to turn my body back on so we can see what it looks like. Go to the top. It'll want to cut it, uh, but we just say, actually what we're going to say here is new body because that'll make it easier for us to, to mirror. And then we just do the same trick we did last time. And again, you'd want to add whatever you want to add onto the end of this before you do this mirror piece. We're just going to mirror this body 
across this mirror plane. And then we say join. And we still have this body here. And then we just want to combine these bodies, right? Combine target body is this, tool body is that, join, boom. And there we go. So the trick to those is just make sure they're you start the line deep inside your bait so it um, it doesn't get um, if you start it right on the edge it won't connect properly so start it deep in there so if you want to check out how i made the mold for this video my mold making videos are right here all my other 3d printing videos for fishing lures are right here take care tight lines